Hey everyone, in this video, you'll see how to create segments from contacts in MailChimp and how to create email campaigns to send emails to your MemberPress site members. If you haven't yet connected your MailChimp account to your MemberPress site with the MailChimp add-on, watch video number one in this series to see how. Also, check out video number two to see how to create per-membership merge tags in MailChimp. Okay, so at this point on my sample site, I already have an audience created, a global merge tag set up, and I also have two separate merge tags created for my two membership levels, monthly and yearly. Next, I'll show you how to create a segment from your merge tags, which is a way to group contacts together based on certain criteria. Okay, so first, here in MailChimp, if you go to Audience and All Contacts, here you can see a list of users on your mailing list. So you can see here I have some test signups. And you can see some have active monthly memberships and a few have active yearly memberships. So to create a new segment, go over here to Audience and Segments and then click Create New Segment. And then you'll be taken to the Segment Builder. So on my sample site, I want this first segment to include all active members on my website. So using this segment, I'll be able to send an email to anyone with an active subscription to my monthly or yearly membership. So all active site members. So once it's named, I'll click Add Filter. And then here on the left, I can see monthly members, which is one of my merge tags that I set up for my monthly membership. So I'll select that. And here, I could say monthly members is, and then I'll go ahead and type active. If you remember when I showed you my contacts list, the text active is assigned under the merge tag of the membership if somebody has an active subscription to it. Okay, so now I'll click to add another filter. And this time, select yearly. And then here, I'll say yearly members is, and type active again. And here, I'll select or. So what this is doing is targeting anyone with an active monthly membership or a yearly membership. So if I were to leave this set to and instead, the user would have to have both a monthly membership and a yearly membership. So I don't want that. I want them to have either one or the other. So anyone with an active monthly or yearly membership will be in the segment. So in other words, all active members on my website. So to save the segment, I'll click review. And here you can see the members currently part of the segment and you can see them listed out here. So all this looks good. So to save the segment, I'll click here. And once it's saved here on the segments page, I can see the segment I just created. And you can click to edit it here too if you need to. Next, I'm going to create one more segment. So I'll click Create Segment. And this one will be my monthly members only. So maybe I want to target just my active monthly members and send them emails enticing them to upgrade to yearly or something. Or say you had a basic plan and a pro plan, you could create a segment for basic members and then send them upgrade offers and stuff like that. So this segment, I'll go ahead and name this Monthly Members. And then add filter, select monthly members, and then say monthly members is active. And then I'll click review. And again, I see the users in the segment. So I'll save it. And once it's saved, now you can see my two segments here. So now that I have some segments set up, I'll show you how to create some campaigns and target those segments for emails. A campaign is an email that goes out to segments that you choose. So you can create your email campaigns and decide exactly which segment or segments to send them to. So you can click here next to a segment to start a campaign for it, but I'm gonna show you the more formal way to create a campaign. So here on the left, click Campaigns and All Campaigns. And then click Create New. And for mine, I'll just select regular email. And then here you can give the campaign a name. And here under two, it's set to all my users in my audience. So I wanna change that to target just my monthly members. So I'll click edit recipients here. And if I click here under send to, you can see my segments that I created here. So I'll select monthly members. And you could choose to not send this email out to whoever you choose here as well, but that's optional. 
And then right here, you can personalize the send to fields. So you can display someone's first name when addressing them, for example. And at this point, getting into crafting and designing emails is a bit beyond the scope of this video, but that's how you target your specific segments with email campaigns. See MailChimp's documentation on campaigns for a lot more information about how to set up and design your emails. So this will send my email to only my active monthly members using the segment that I set up. So I would just add a subject for the email, either choose to send the email now or schedule it out for the future, and then I design the email itself. And you can see here MailChimp's got a lot of templates that you can use. So I'll just select this very basic one here. And then you can edit your email here in the editor. And then click continue. And then you'd be able to choose to send your email or schedule it if you have that set instead, or just work on it later. So that's how you create email campaigns in MailChimp for your segments. There are all kinds of uses for sending out emails to your members. Maybe you want to share updates or helpful information with all your members, or maybe you just want to target your inactive members and send special promo deals to try to get them to sign up. So any way that you want to segment out your members and target them within MailChimp is totally possible. See your knowledge base page on the MemberPress MailChimp add-on for more information. And check out MailChimp's help docs to learn anything you want to know about using the platform. Also, be sure to follow the MemberPress blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.